Hey guys, it's Mrs. Hauser. Today is Tuesday, November 10th, and it is a day six. Please stand for the pledge to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's go to Hurricane Payne for the beautiful weather forecast. Thanks, Mrs. Hauser. That was fantastic. Hey, C. Cole, here's your weather for Tuesday. And with a little help from Michael Reed and Mrs. Tice's class, who loves sunny weather. And we've been getting a lot of it lately. Today, we're going to see the sun, but those clouds are going to start moving in throughout the day. We're going to have highs in this upper 60s, and then tonight, probably those stratus clouds will start forming because we're going to expect some rain on Wednesday. Today's Ask Mr. Payne comes from Evan Hausman in Mrs. Tice's class, who asks, How hot is the sun? Well, we've been seeing the sun a lot lately, so that's a really great question. On the surface of the sun, it is 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit, and the inner core of the sun is 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. And remember, the sun is the closest star to our Earth and is the center of our solar system, and Earth is at the absolute perfect spot so that we can sustain life through the light and the warmth that it brings us. Have a great Tuesday. Thanks, Mr. Payne. That was a great forecast. It sounds beautiful. I can't wait to get outside when I get home. Did you know that this week is Children's Book Week? We actually celebrated twice in 2020. Once was back in May, and once started yesterday, and it goes all the way until November 15th. It's actually an annual celebration of books for young people and to encourage young people like you and students to read. Do you like to read? I hope so. Here are some fun facts about children's books, and they may be some books that you have heard of or even read. The first one is The Very Hungry Caterpillar. It was actually supposed to be called A Week with Willy Worm, but they changed it and decided to name it The Very Hungry Caterpillar. The next one is The Cat in the Hat, personally one of my favorites from when I was younger. Dr. Seuss first thought that when he wrote that book, it was going to take him about a week or so to finish. It actually took him a year and a half to write that book. And lastly, I'm sure you all have heard of Happy Meals, Strawberry Shortcake, and the Care Bears. When they were first designed, they were actually put on greeting cards before they became visible on uh, books and on TV. So I hope you enjoyed those facts. Go out, enjoy the beautiful weather, and enjoy a good book. Bye!